Hey, what up? Welcome to the Tuesday Show. I'm Ultra David. And I am James Chen. How's everybody going? So, this week we're going to talk about whatever this thing is on the top here. <laughs> I don't know. This there one. There we go. <laughs> um, that was Good perfect. Job. <laughs> yes, I couldn't even see the screen while I was doing that. I'll have you know. Uh, you are shockingly very good at that these days. Thanks, buddy. I've been working on it. We'll talk about <laughs> patches in various games, including in Street Fighter V, where something happened, including in MKXL, and including in Killer Instinct. That's which right. Which is now out in Season 3. Mm -hmm. On PC and on Xbox One. That's right. We'll talk about NorCal Regionals, which happened this past weekend. We'll talk about other events, various news mm -hmm. items, and so forth. But that's right. Let's start it off by talking about this one. <laughs> Perfect. You're the best. <laughs> let's talk about Avid because this is obviously a big topic that came up right before NorCal Regionals. Yeah. And uh, kind of resulted in like a weird blow up kind of yeah. situation. It was a lot of skeptical. I mean, well, tell people what, what was Avid all about? Sure. Well, I here's what I know about it. <laughs> Fair. Fair. <laughs> Can't tell you everything because I don't know. Mm -hmm. But what happened was all of a sudden it was announced on Twitter and then retweeted and whatnot. And then there was a website turned out uh, uh, from Avid saying that they are a company who has a platform mm -hmm. and that they would be sponsoring a tournament for fighting games at which they'd give out $100,000. Mm -hmm. At the end of the year. At the end of the year. And that there would be qualifiers for this, and that you know one of the qualifiers would be NorCal Regionals, but then mm -hmm. there are a few others, um, and it was for Street Fighter Five, uh, MK, Pokémon, I think Smash Four. Yeah, I think so. And I think Melee was there as well. Melee, I think it was both of them was there. Yeah. Out of the blue. <laughs> Out of nowhere. Out of totally nowhere. And uh, needless to say, the response from the FGC was tepid at best. No, no, it was hilarious. It was hilarious. <laughs> that article that Ian put up on Shoryuken was genius. It, the title <laughs> was... I figured you would enjoy that article. It was amazing. It was like, <laughs> random company appears to randomly give a random, random amount of money, a yeah, random $100,000. I think I literally have it here somewhere. Do you? Uh, yeah, okay. And it had a had a picture of it's somebody like, burning money. Yeah, <laughs> random company randomly announces random one hundred thousand dollar fighting game tournament. <laughs> mm. Oh, it was not Pokemon. It was uh, SF Five, MK, uh, oh, Melee, Exert. Smash Four, Exert, 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 Exert yeah, MK. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. There you so. go. Mm -hmm. I still don't know what they do. Yeah. Well, well, okay, well, okay. Yeah, but, well, here's here's yeah. a little bit more that happened. Yeah, right? yeah, After yeah. that came out, a bunch of people were like. Pfft, here we go again, because the biggest problem is the FGC has been burned a bunch of times by groups like this, right? We have, what, the EGL thing in Dallas that didn't go very well, sure. right? Yeah, there's, a, there's Remember you the, know, VXG, the ESGN. CGL, wasn't it? The, the one that Dominion went to China for? I don't think they paid out ever, mm. you know? There was obviously the beach, you know? You remember, like, remember the ESGN where uh, the only one who got paid was Sanford because he insisted on getting paid in cash? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Everybody uh, else wanted checks. Yeah. So, obviously, we've been burned anyway. by these groups that have come out of nowhere and, offering huge amounts of money before. And it, it, it extends much farther back in time. Mm -hmm, it's not mm -hmm. It's not even just the past few years. This has been right. happening since however I've been involved and probably since you mm -hmm, have been. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, a lot of people were skeptical about it, but then it came out that... Um, a couple of particular TOs, that is the Hado, uh, one of the Ultra Chen TV Award winners for community, you know, oh, yeah. guys. And uh, Mr. CEO Jabaili uh, came out and they kind of said that they were working with them and they fully supported them and, you know, and, and, and were really endorsing them. Yeah. But again, the website had no information. There was no information who was involved. And then people started doing some digging mm. and started finding out like they were part of a, was it a, was it a CEO, a COD team, right? A Call of yeah. Duty team. And then like there was all this weird... it, It's, it's uh, organized in Cheyenne, Wyoming. <laughs> right, right. And then to make things even worse was during the course of the NCR weekend, which was Brought to you by Avid. Yeah, fact, they were a title sponsor. Yeah, the badges had Avid printed on it and everything all over the place. Yeah. And they and you know, they um they came out with another announcement. Yeah. They said, actually, 
We're not doing Street Fighter V. There is no Street Fighter V. NCR is no longer a qualifier. Right. Yeah. And then yesterday, I think, the CEO put out a statement trying to, like, allay some fears. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he did that by having a written spiel on their website. About the FGC community. About the FGC community. (laughs) And uh, how they're, like, in it for the long haul, and it's not a scam, and... They have a platform. I mean, you know, well-intentioned. Right. The CEO piece. gave you know gave out his name in this. Yes. This is basically the CEO reveal, you know, yes. and also the reveal of a couple of other key members of Avid. Sure. So, needless to say, rocky start for this group if they're trying to. It was the worst possible start. There's. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Can Can you think of a worse way to join the fighting game community? Uh, look, the, the thing about it was. I don't think they realize the extent at which the FGC has been burned by these kind of things. Like they probably heard about it and were probably like, "Eh, once we start, once we announce this tournament, they'll be happy, right?" But they don't realize that. I I told various people this. This is nothing even to do with Avid. I've talked to other people who are like, "I'm going to start this tournament series," and I'm like, "Look, you have to gain so much trust yeah. in the FGC." You know, and he even said like the the other guy I was talking to, you know, he's like he's like I've never not paid out. I pay out by my own money, blah. And I was like, nobody knows that. Like you have to build that up. Yeah. Like you can't just sit there and say I pay everybody and then have everyone go okay. He pays everybody. Let's go. So needless to say, a lot of people were very skeptical. It was a very rough start. I mean, it was almost like. The, the, the Street Fighter Five launch, frankly, I mean, you know, maybe on that kind of level. Yeah, of, of yeah. Disaster. I mean, the, the fact that they could be so tone deaf to the FGC is not a great sign for the legitimacy of the thing. Um, presumably they had gotten, well, let me say, hopefully they had gotten better advice than that. Mm-hmm. But if even if they did, they clearly disregarded it. Mm-hmm. Um and I, I, that's so strange to me that y- if they're intending it to be some big thing, to not have done the homework first about what, what kind of scene you are supporting. Right. We're happy to have support, don't get me wrong, mm-hmm. but we also want to make sure that we're not going to get fleeced. Mm-hmm. So um, I, the way that it happened was, was n- not, not only is it, a skept- is, is it an announcement that's worth skepticism, that's skepticism right. But the the manner of announcement is worth is worthy of skepticism, and the lack of any information as to what it is mm-hmm. is is worthy of skepticism. We still don't know what this platform is. Mm-hmm. Right, I don't, what right. does that mean? A platform can be anything. Mm-hmm. That's a this is devoid of meaning. Um, this table is a platform. That's right. Yeah. Did they just invent Twitter, or is there something? I mean, who has any idea? Right. Uh, it's very, it's very strange. Very strange. Yeah. I mean, look. To be fair, like I, I do want to point out some of the positives. You know, I did talk to John Choi, and um, Avid did give them money. Like they said, they were sponsoring. They already right. gave them money, so it wasn't even like a "Don't worry, we'll pay you later." No, they actually gave NCR money. That's, okay. NCR has never given out medals or a trophy before. That's where I got they got the fund to to do that kind That's of thing. That's cool. So you know, there's definitely some positives in For there. Sure. Avid. That's great. Right. You know, it wasn't just like, "Hey, we're gonna sponsor," and then kind of sit idly. But they've already given money to NCR, so that's already a good sign. But For sure. again. You can't come onto the scene and say, hey, look, we're trying to throw the biggest fighting game tournament like you've ever seen kind of craziness. You know, one, when your schedule is clearly laid parallelly on top of the Capcom Pro Tour and an event like Evo exists already, right? Like Evo's been doing this for 10 years now, 20 years now. 20 so, years. And so, of course, there's going to be a lot more trust and faith in Evo, right? So you can't just sit here and jump in and be like, look, we've got this qualifier for all this. There's going to be a big, big guy. Because that definitely has the bearings of the jump in, jump out. Yeah. <laughs> you know, kind of thing. So, and then me personally, I was really skeptical on the announcement, mostly just because... I'm always scared of these kind of things. Back in the days when the FGC was like the little fish in the pond and then there was MLG and everyone yeah. was like, FGC should join MLG. I was already against that like, sure, from the beginning, that. right? And I was arguing about that. And then sure enough, when Activision bought out MLG, 
like they paid a crap ton of money, most of which was for their debt. Yeah. <laughs> right? So MLG had never been making money this whole entire time. And now that Activision's bought MLG, what's happened to MLG? We haven't heard from it, pretty much. Blizzard bought... I mean, it's still done stuff, but it's... Right. You know. uh, Activision has... I mean, Blizzard bought IGL. I don't know what happened to IGL. If Avid comes out as another one of those companies and then just gets bought out eventually and then just disappears, what, what happens to the FGC? You know what I mean? There's, I'm, I am particularly, you know, through 20 years of getting burned by these kind of things, you know, like I'm... I'm like really skeptical about it. I'm trying to be positive because Rick is involved, right? Yeah. Because I know Rick is a good guy, as I For mentioned. Sure. He was our, both. I think it was both of our number one Ultra Chen TV community member of the year last year because he's such a hard worker. He's an honest guy. He's oh, yeah. really great. Very so kind. I really want to have faith in this. You know what I mean? Yeah. But. Again, it's just hard for me to get past my schedule. You know, he, he organizes Combo Breaker. He helps mm -hmm. work on uh, a whole bunch of different events. It's not, it's not just that. All over the country, he's helped put together tours, you know, mm -hmm. various games. So uh, he's definitely somebody who I respect and mm -hmm. think very highly of. And, you know, if he says that it's legit, then, I, then my, like, skepticism meter goes down. Mm -hmm. But, mm -hmm. like, any of us can, can get fleeced. Right, right. Like, I... I I can be. Right. I'm sure I have been in the past. So, so I do want to clear. A lot of people say that MLG is running tournaments and stuff. Yeah, yeah, they're still doing right stuff. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, it's weird. I haven't heard anything about them. No, it's just not it's fighting like, game stuff. I guess. Okay. Um, but yeah, they're still doing stuff. Uh, anyway, the SF5 stuff. You know, as you said, they they originally had SF5 right, being right. part of the end of the year mm -hmm. uh, thing, and then they announced that it would not be, mm -hmm. and they sort of implied in the in the press release afterward that they at least what i took away from it was probably what happened was that capcom got word of this mm -hmm. and didn't want them using their game mm -hmm. because as you said capcom is running this big old thing the cpt capcom pro tour <laughs> specifically for sf5 and they don't want to get shown up right that's my guess well that's... and that they it, of course they have all the rights in the world to prevent whoever they want from playing that game in tournaments. So. Right. But the funniest thing is they're trying to use a lot of the same events as qualifiers. Yeah. Like, at that point, it's like, what's the reason for this? You know what I mean? It kind of makes it weird. So I'm not sure exactly what they're... It, was, it would have been better if they had come out and said, we're going to do it in a completely different way. Here's our details. Here's our plan. But yeah. there was nothing. Yeah, yeah. But but the fact that they didn't ask about... Street Fighter Five. They clearly didn't ask Capcom beforehand whether <laughs> right, it's right. cool. Mm -hmm. Again, that makes me kind of think eh, I don't know about these people. Like you couldn't <laughs> have done that degree of research. That's not terribly mm -hmm. complicated. I feel like if I were going to put a hundred thousand dollars into something, I would ask the rights holders. Especially for a year-long cool. event. Yeah. You know. Yeah, mm -hmm. but they didn't do that. So, or I assume they didn't do it, or else I don't know why they would have had that announcement. So that that is. That's confusing. It's not a great sign. I hope it's real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. I just it seems so weird to me yeah. that it's the announcement is most of a week old, and we don't know what they do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why? I'm definitely, uh, they probably could have done that better. So um, it was a terrible yeah. launch. Yeah. I mean, it, it was just awfully done. Yeah, um, I, I really hope that whatever it is ends up being useful and nice and that we have good things to say about it and that the money's there and that the people who we think highly of, uh, like Rick, um, are, are right and that they're not being misled themselves. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, a lot of people that I talk hopes. to, there's a lot of people that I talk to about this kind of situation, you know, they asked me, like, why are you so worried about this kind of situation, right? Like, why are you so concerned if, if they give money up front like they did the NCR? And let's say they do go broke or they pull out or whatever like that. Is that going to hurt the FGC, you know? Is that going to harm the FGC in any way? Because we're running fine without these sponsors, so what makes it seem like if they came in and came out, then we would be in a problem. Yeah. You know, and it's always just those kind of expectation things, right? You set up all this money, you do all these things. I still remember hearing stories, again, I can't confirm this, that there's hardcore Tekken people in the community that can confirm this, but I heard when MLG picked up Tekken for a while, um, a bunch of people played in that, and then once MLG dropped Tekken, 
that a lot of the Tekken players, I was told again, this is hearsay, uh, that they didn't travel to a lot of majors, FGC majors anymore, because they had gotten kind of used to the higher prize money, and they just didn't feel like it was worth it anymore. Okay. You know, I don't know if that's true or not, so... Well, but you know, it's those kind of things. Like if they send the money for a better production value and all these things, and then all of a sudden they go away, and then everything drops back down. Will that make people go, huh? This is not. This is kind of interesting. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> I, I can know. definitely see that. Um, mm -hmm. I, you know, I'm happy to get more money involved. It's it's totally great. Uh, I I wouldn't mind having a situation where we have more money for a while, and then we have to like relatively struggle. It's not that big of a deal to me. But um, I just want to know what it is and why I should believe it. Mm -hmm. Those seem like two very simple questions to me. Right. And, and it's another thing, too, because I heard, like, the guys doing research on, like, the Abbott domain and all this stuff. There was, like, all this, like, weird kind of, like, like the way they set it up. And someone was, like, I guess they had an address. And when they looked at the link to the address, like, on Google Maps, it was, like some random building or something like that. Yeah, the, you know? the, it's in Cheyenne in Wyoming. Right, right. It's just registered at some building that registers a bunch of companies, it's, mm -hmm. which is not uncommon, to be honest. Right, okay, so It's okay, not that okay, big of okay, a deal. Okay. Um, but uh, anyway, just let us know what it is and why we should believe <laughs> in it. Again, I can't think of two more basic questions to, an to ask about something, mm -hmm. and they are both unanswered. And not even just unanswered, but like, ignored mm, right. you, know, you know what I mean like like they like they know that that's what everybody is wondering about they even reference their platform mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but they don't want to tell us what it is so yeah I mean maybe they're maybe they realize that something went wrong and so now they're trying to make sure they craft something very substantial maybe that's why they're a little bit silent you know maybe but again I, I mean why would you launch if you weren't sure about these things uh, i think they probably wanted to get something out there before ncr so when they said ncr sponsored by avid people wouldn't be like what you i'm know? i'm sure you're right but that was terrible planning <laughs> so all right okay fair enough uh okay is that it for whatever that was yeah for avid so okay okay on to avid this. happened we'll see what comes of it no idea Let's talk about patches in video games that we play. <laughs> yeah, there's, been, there's a lot of them. Yeah, there like, are a lot of them. We listed as patches literally because uh, three games basically got patched. Right? Yeah, right, all right. So I guess Street Fighter V first? Yeah, Street Fighter V. Sure, Street Fighter, sure. Fighter V got patched first. Mm -hmm. uh, well, not first, literally, but we'll talk about that one. Street Fighter V, you know, they, ha they have said that they're not going to make balance changes mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. quite a while, but they, they did make some changes to system. to some stuff mm -hmm. yeah right so to to the systems to some degree there's an extra frame before the pre-jump frames and like some stuff like that option selects uh are not gone but they like made throw teching harder mm -hmm. in a way that is it was intended to get rid of an option select but didn't really do the job <laughs> um so but, that that yeah. sucks yeah, yeah. Uh, so they they added the frame for just the neutral jumps and yeah. the up back jumps, which right. actually which actually ruined some setups for some players. It did. Actually, like Hameko tweeted out some like he linked to an old setup that he had with Mika versus Chun Li that doesn't work anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but you know, small things right there, right? But then also, um, obviously, they added a bunch of content. Right, so they added a bunch of uh, one player content there. They've got the challenges in there yeah. now. Uh, they've got some tutorials and lessons and everything like that. Six gig download, by the way. Lots of data to grab. Mm. But um, uh, presumably they're adding a bunch of costumes because they've been, been data mined. Yeah, they're the in there. Version. Yeah. Um, and again, now that a lot of this stuff is out, I think it's a really good time to get into the game, right? For for people who have been holding back, who have been like, Bleh, you know, launch was terrible or whatever like that. So just as a word, we are going to give out one copy of the game and as well as a season pass as well later on in the show. So Ooh, stick, stick around, around for that. that. Yeah, exactly. yeah. And maybe a couple of bearded Ryu costumes and some Prima, digital Prima guides. So, oh, wow, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got lots of toys. Sweet. Make it rain. Yeah, exactly. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, in fact, they did make some balance changes, and I'm not sure if those were intentional, if they're like bug fixes or what. But <laughs> I, I like, saw one for Rashid. Oh, I haven't seen the Rashid one. There's a Rashid. You know that that mix-up that Lamer Boy did. Yeah. Doesn't work anymore. 
What? Yeah, it, like now when he kicks, he like pushes them through the tornado. It's it's really weird. I guess there's an alternate that you can do that works the same way, but just how it exactly worked before with Lamer Boy doing that awesome thing is no longer there okay. anymore. Yeah. Also, Mika's sweep is no longer unthrowable. Oh, right, because Zangief couldn't SPD it. And also, Birdie's <laughs> down toward Fierce, the like, hey ho. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. uh huh. That is not unthrowable either. Was it before? Yeah, it had unthrowable for him. Oh, so. okay, 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 yeah. okay. So, stuff like that, like little things. Again, I'm not sure if those were maybe bugs, maybe they were just mm-hmm. accidentally flagged right, as unthrowable. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, not a huge deal, but I, I really hope that they that they don't make actual balance changes. Uh, anyway, the the biggest thing to come from this is the fact that Alex is out. Alex is playable. Is he playable yet? Well, you know, all you got to do is make a little, <laughs> little change to the PC version. It's pretty simple. Oh, yeah, pretty much. He's out. Yeah. Um, and I mean, there's a the trailer. And he's going to be free anyway, right? So Because yeah. they don't have the store ready, so a lot of their first costumes and... Uh, and uh, Alex is going to be free for everybody. So Yeah. Supposedly, if you had played through all the story modes with all the characters, you would gain enough to get Alex already. But I guess that'll be reserved for the next character that's coming up. Okay, so. cool, cool. Yeah, he's not officially out, of course. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That will be tomorrow. Right. But you mentioned the trailer, right? There is indeed an Alex trailer. An Alex trailer. You, you want to you wanna pump it? Uh, you want to put it up there? Sure, let's do yeah. this. Yeah, the Alex trailer. Let me see if I can bring this up somewhere here. Where did I? Oh yeah, I was over here. Where is it? Oh yeah. Ah, there you go. Here we go. Here we go. The Alex trailer. Let's do this. Sorry guys, I'm setting up the. I should have did this ahead of time, but that's fine. Okay. Okay. We shouldn't get busted for this because this is not actually a, <laughs> an official thing, but you never know. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Back to this window here. Really would be nice if I had a stream producer. Yep. Okay, let's do this. some strange reason. Well, looks terrible. Yeah, hang on a second, guys. Let's start this over again. I'm going to lower the quality on this puppy here. You're going to have to deal with Dang, some 480 480? What 480p is this? 480 1990? Yeah, exactly. Here we go. Okay. Let's rumble. Dude, even 480p doesn't want to work with me here? Really? What's going on here? Really, Chrome? What's going on? Well, there is the official Alex trailer. The official unofficial Alex trailer. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So there's no Alex trailer. <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty and much. And pretty much what happened was some people who have unlocked Alex already on the PC version just made their own. And there's a mm-hmm. couple of them out there. That's not the only one. Yep. So, you know, check them out. Uh, I've seen a little bit of, of some more... Alex action than just that 
and he looks cool, I guess. Uh, well, maybe looks is the wrong word. He seems like he has fun gameplay. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, when they first revealed stuff, they didn't even mention he had the stomp. They didn't even mention he had the shoulder charge. I saw the shoulder charge in there. Is that is like his V-skill or something? Or... No, no, V-skill is the, is the oh, charge. Oh, that's right. Up. Yeah, I actually saw him do the, 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 the elbow charge. Yeah, me charge. too, and yeah. it was the X, so that's clearly yeah. a special and move. And then he's got the stomp, so uh, he's got a lot of moves that they didn't even talk about ahead of time. He has stomp and stun gun. That's a lot of moves. And stomp and stun gun have the same look in startup. But, so I guess, like, maybe you're supposed to use them as, like, fakes for each other. Because the oh, startup is noticeable. Right, so, like, right, right. maybe you're, you want to, like, block the stomp. But, oh, it's stun gun headbutt, and now you have, <laughs> you're stunned or whatever. I will say one thing. The stun gun headbutt does not have the same impact. The headbutt oh. that he does does not look right at all. No, no, it no. It looks no. very, like, okay. And it's 250 stun. Which is not that much. Well, I mean, it's not a honest. super anymore, right? I'm just so. saying, like, there are other special moves in the game that do 250 stun. Oh, I see what you're saying. And right, 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 damage. Right. Okay, okay, okay. So it's, it's kind of special. underwhelming. Yeah, 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 I want it to be like 500 stun, and it's like, <laughs> you're worried, you know? Especially because the startup is so big. I don't know. Anyway, we'll see how it all turns out. Um, or even whether there's going to be like a day one Alex patch. Mm -hmm. Who even knows? Ooh, true, true. I don't know, man. I'm making it up. Yeah. But we'll see. Yeah, I mean, look, I, I've kind of purposely been staying away from a lot of... I did see that trailer, but I've been purposely trying to stay away for a little bit of, of Alex information because what I want to do uh, is, is on Thursday, I want to stream myself playing Alex as a first attack episode. Okay. Basically going to go through all his moves, show how I would plan how to use the character, and then actually take him online. Oh, that sounds kind of cool, get, yeah. get beat up. Hey, blitz. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that I mean, awesome, I though. want to show like what I will do to prepare myself to play online, exploring a new character kind of situation. Yeah. So tomorrow, when he comes out, supposedly at 10 in the morning or something like that, Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'll download him. I won't play him or anything like okay. that on on Wednesday. I might stream myself doing some trials for fun, but we'll see. We'll okay. see what happens. Cool, but, on, but on Thursday, I'm definitely going to do a like a a real time. This is me analyzing a character. This is what I'm going to guess how to use his buttons, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, sort of thing. So that sounds should, cool. Should be kind of interesting. Okay. Yeah. Well, is that it for the Street Fighter Five patch? Uh, yeah, yeah. From, okay. from what I can tell, by the way, the online feels the same. I haven't noticed anything. Some people were saying that it's having that problem. There was a problem during one of the betas or maybe when the game first... No, it was when the game first came out that, like, the loading screen would last forever. Oh, it yeah. It would just sit there for a really long time. And apparently that's happened again at some oh, point really? in time. But it could be fixed. I don't know because they seem to be able to fix a lot of that stuff on the fly. Yeah, I haven't, fast, it hasn't so. happened to me at okay, okay, least, but okay. okay. Uh, I don't want to say it doesn't happen. Okay. Well, MKXL had a patch as well yeah they didn't even announce that anything was coming it just kind of was like that's how it's in our ass <laughs> that's how it works but i mean at least it was for the better though because obviously there yeah some yeah concerns yeah. so with the characters right so other than sort of general bug fixes and whatnot they did change some characters and the two that got hit the most predictably are alien and Triborg. Right. Oh, did you want to talk about the costumes at all? Oh, for what, Street Fighter? Yeah, for Street Fighter. That are... Oh, oh, some of them are super ugly. Some of them are super cool. So, yeah. yeah. Seriously, like, the, 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 the Ken one makes me cry. Like, it's, it's, it's mystifying. I don't <laughs> It's, like, who, how did that get approved? I, it just doesn't it's, make much sense to me at all. It's, like... Almost the only thing that redeems it a little bit is that they said it looks like the Street Fighter Two title screen guy. You yeah, know, but it, da, it doesn't da, even like look da, da, like da, that da, guy. Da, da, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> still doesn't look like him though. He, it's like remind it reminds you of him. Well, he's also like really stubby looking. So yeah. he look he literally looks like generic brawler guy that you fight on the first level of like some double dragon clone. Yeah. Like seriously, he looks like that guy who comes up and goes. Hard to understand. Yeah, and then you beat him up. Yeah. It's interesting because Fong... I can finally make my horrible Fong joke, by the way. Because he's... You know, the default color is green, right? So he's obviously the most overpowered character in the game. Because he attacks you with green sleeves. So he's obviously Baroque. That came to my head a long time ago. Yeah, I've already there heard was, this three or yeah, four times. There was so. no place I could actually say it, but I, I'll say it here on the Ultra Chen TV. But it's funny because I swear that that character, the way his costume looks, he looks like 
something that I've seen before, and I can't put my finger Bang? on it. Yeah, the Bang green one. Uh huh. The, the green one. He looks like something that. Uh, I, I, but I can't remember. I can't quite put it. So. Uh, well. Anyway, yeah, some of the costumes are awful, but some are super cool. Macho Man Geef is pretty sick. Dude, Macho Man Geef is the most ridiculous thing. That's that great. That thing is so sick. I like it a lot. Yeah. Mika's is really weird. <laughs> She's uh, Chocolina from Final Fantasy yeah. 13 too. So, yeah. yeah, which I know you're... I, I've never played it, but I've seen the picture. Oh, okay, it looks okay, identical. okay. Yeah, 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 I stopped, gotcha, that gotcha. stopped Final Fantasy before that. So. Right, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, MKX, MKX. So, so you said the alien. characters, the characters that people were most worried about were Alien and like Cyrax and Cyber Sub and mm -hmm. Smoke and stuff. And those characters got a lot of changes, and they're mostly nerfs, which is good because mm -hmm. they were silly. Mm -hmm. um, some of the changes, I mean, they're not bad characters now; like they didn't destroy them, but <laughs> uh, they definitely weakened them significantly. Like there are people talking about how Alien. Has a seven three win over every character in the game. It was like <laughs> kind of absurd, right? Uh, dude, I saw one of his changes. It was like this move is now plus ten, and I was like, oh, did they make it better? It was like down from plus thirty eight. I was like, what the hell? he had a plus thirty eight move. Yeah, yeah, that happens. Oh my god. Uh, apparently, we're 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 streaming a PowerPoint presentation right now. If you look at the thing, what? Oh yeah, it's terrible. Oh, it's like really choppy. Oh, I yeah. see. I it's see. Awful. Oh, okay, okay. But the audio is fine, right? I'm assuming. You have the NCR results up, right? I do. So I'll just close that. Oh, I see. It's telling me my shockwave has crashed. I think it's just like my computer is chugging here. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, someone peeps saying it's better now, so. Yo, that was it? I don't know. Oh, don't it know. is better now. Yeah, that's that's really strange. Well, whatever, man. Okay, anyway, so those two characters are now a little bit worse, but they're not so much worse that they're not playable, which is right, the good right. thing to do. It just sucks that it seems like each time new characters come out for uh, NRS games that most of them are busted. Not always. Jason was not good when he came out. Borecho, like, we'll see how he ends up, but it really seems like for the most part they're too good, and I, I don't know how Alien was released in his release form like i don't know how that got past any like the testers it's just it's very strange to me um th those weren't the only characters some of the other ones got some slight changes most of them are not that big of a deal uh but yeah really it's those it's those two for the most part and then there were some hidden nerfs as, as well so um again you know i really two things i really wish that nrs would release their characters in a little bit more polished state Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I also wish that they would just let us know like when the patches are coming. Right, right. I mean, look, it, obviously, you know, you release characters who are super strong. People play them. They beat you up. Makes you want to buy them. Who knows? Maybe that's like... That might be the, the thought. That seems yeah. like what League does. So. Right, exactly. So, or, or it just could be a situation where, you know, the hardest thing about fighting games is you have people in-house testing it and you think they're balanced, then you put it out in the world, and then just you have a million scientists, and they just find things that you're like, holy crap, how did we not see this? Well, <laughs> that definitely is part of it, but mm -hmm. it's also weird to make Cyrax, like, nobody, like, for example, one of the changes is that you can only have three bombs in a combo for Cyrax. There were, like, ten bomb combos. <laughs> they lasted forever. Which is, yeah, and they were meterless. And, and, like, how is it that nobody at NRS found, like, a four-bomb combo? Right, right. Come on. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure they did. It's just... Yeah. I don't know. It's really weird. And the way that Alien was released, like, dude, acidic in... So this is sort of like a damage over time zoning variation, right? Mm -hmm. um, it, ha it has a move that where he, like, shoots poison, like, like the, at the... Imagine, like, look at the screen. Like, imagine uh -huh. I'm, I'm Alien. Uh -huh. It shoots like this. Okay. Okay. It's like that. It's and it's it really covers fast. The whole screen, and it right? just—it's the best anti-air ever. <laughs> it's just the entire top of the screen is and poisoned. Bit, and and it said, I guess you used to be able to die by that damage yes. over time, poison, right? Yes. In fact, Sonic Fox, um, when he was playing at at, at uh, final round, uh -huh. he had a match where he was playing against. I think it was Dragon's Alien. Uh -huh. You know, Grand Final. Right. Was yeah. Alien. Yeah. Uh -huh. He was acidic, and he knew that he had put enough acid on 
uh, dragon that even if he got hit, he would still win. <laughs> so he let that happen. Are you serious? He just like let go of the controller? <laughs> That's what he told me. That's what he told me. Oh, man. So, anyway, the character... I mean, I, oh, I, I'm pretty sucks. sure that... I don't know. The, it always seems to happen. But in any case, at least they made the changes that they, it right, seems like right. they needed uh, to make. Uh, 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 and hopefully going forward, this will be, you know, yeah, one, yeah, of yeah. The, one, one of the last. Yeah, yeah, I'll be curious to see how people uh, feel about it afterwards. Like, if the characters are a little bit more fair and how that goes. So, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, yeah. It's a really fun game. Okay. But, well. All right. Killer Instinct. That's right. So, really big news, actually. Not even just a patch. Yeah. It's really just like a whole new version of the game. Killer Instinct Season 3 came out today on not only Xbox One, but on the PC. So, it's out on the PC. We got it before we got Alex. (laughs) Yeah, that's true. And, look. It's a free to play game yeah a lot of people are like i don't know if my computer can run it or like is it any fun download it and find out it's yeah it's a free to play game try it out yeah just try it get it and if you want to pay like i actually have all the pricing options listed here they, they revealed it let me see um and it's surprisingly cheap actually um so basically for $20, it's the combo player package, which includes the eight new fighters, including Rash, Arbiter, Kim Wu, and Tusk. There's the Ultra Edition, which is $40, which includes the VIP double XP booster, eight retro costumes, accessory sets, bonus retro color seven for all seven season three characters, and 18,000 KI gold. And then, like, it's weird. I don't know why Xbox One is 60 and Windows 10 is 50. But that dollar for the Supreme mm. Edition, which includes every fighter from seasons one, two, and three, all content from all three Ultra Editions, including costumes, accessories, that 18,000 KI gold, double XP boosters, bonus colors for season three characters, and Killer Instinct Classic, and Killer Instinct Cla- 2 Classic for Xbox One. Wow. So for $60, you get the whole thing. Okay. You Sweet. get the whole thing. So, and then you can also, there's something called the double combo, which includes all 16, 17 characters from season one and two. Okay. So that way, if you buy like the new one and you're like, I like the old character. Right, right, right. right. And that's 30 bucks. Yeah. And that's just 30 bucks. So it, dude, $60 for pretty much everything is a really, really, it's a really good deal. Well, $50. Nobody's buying it for Xbox One at yeah, this point. Yeah, true. $50. $50 for the entire game. Is yeah, really rejoice. Great. I mean, this is, this is the first Killer Instinct release to be on a major platform since uh-huh. 1996. Yeah. Um, there haven't been any in between. Finally, the new rebooted Killer Instinct is actually on a major platform. Yeah, exactly. On a platform nice. that a lot of people play. You know, on a platform that some people got that they didn't want. But, you know, they got it anyway. <laughs> Windows 10, yeah. <laughs> you heard about that, right? Sure, yeah. If you had the check mark for download recommended updates, they turned Windows 10 into a recommended update. So a lot of people got came home and found their Windows 7 was Windows 10. Yeah, I, I heard. I heard was that one sucks. Of <laughs> oh, that sucks. If, if you're wondering how to buy it, I also wasn't sure. And I, like, went on Steam, and it's not there, and I, like, Googled around, and... Nobody, nobody said. So I finally f- just went to ultra-combo.com, mm-hmm. which you can go to. Right. And uh, there's like a thing that's like download or whatever. Oh, okay, But you can okay. also just go to the Xbox, to the uh, Windows Store. Okay, okay. Okay, so if you have Windows 10, there's like the store, you know, it's mm-hmm. where you buy, or you probably never go because it's mostly just crap. <laughs> but you can, you can get... Uh, the game there. <laughs> right. Uh, but, I mean, look, the, the game comes out immediately with Rash, uh, Arbiter, Kim Wu, Tusk. Eventually, you'll be able to get General Ramza, and uh, they announced a few other characters coming out for Season 2 as well. Of course, what I really mean is Arbiter and General Ram, but, you know, yes. at this point, I've screwed up their names so badly. Just, just like I feel it. like I, I need to call um, Charlie's move to Sonic Scythe for the rest oh, of my life. Oh, no. I actually like the way Scythe sounds better than Scythe, to be honest with you. But... I disagree. Yeah? I don't like how the how the TH sounds. I just don't... They just in general. Oh, jo- oh, so you don't like either of them. I don't, them, like, I don't like the word Scythe or Scythe. Oh, but okay, I definitely okay, okay. don't like Scythe. Right, right, right. 
I just think that the th sound is really off-putting. Huh. It's kind of hard for me to do. I don't like how it sounds. Interesting. Okay. I could just do without it. <laughs> is what I'm saying. Well, Killer Instinct did, uh, uh, I mean, well, General Ram, I, I don't even think is officially announced yet, right? I think that was still like a rumor or like, oh, super, okay. like one of those leak lists or something like that. But they did reveal that Mira, who's a vampire chick, yes. who's apparently Maya's sister or something, sure. uh, is, is, is coming out as well as Gargos, who was from Killer Instinct 2. I don't know where. I guess he was the main boss character. I basically paid zero attention to that game because it was garbage. But yeah. I mean, look, it wasn't even like like fun in a dumb way like KI One was. It was just like KI Two was just was just hot garbage, pretty much. So, um, I guess Gargos is the main bad guy from there. I'm, that's my guess. Okay. I would be sick if Idol comes out at some point in time, though. Idol. Yeah, I know. I don't, where he I don't punches remember. the two heads, you know, he punches you and then stops and gains his meter energy back. Okay, I don't remember that. On the big long bridge stage. You I know remember how the, the bridge yeah. yeah, the killer instinct stages that you could zoom out forever yeah, pretty much. And then the throw a fireball, like Chief Thunder would throw a fireball and go, Phoenix, and you'd see it like slowly. <laughs> I don't remember that. It's okay. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Garbos, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, um, well, I, I downloaded it today. I haven't really been able to play it much, but I did get through part of the tutorial. Oh, okay, okay. Just to see. You know, I'd never played it before, so mm -hmm. I wanted to get the super basics. And some of that is, like, really basic stuff, which is good that they have it in there, but, I, you know, mm -hmm. um, moving and whatnot. And then when it got to the combo system, it was really weird for me to do it. It was, like, really weird yeah, for me to, to do, uh, like, uh, opener, linker... linker Cause it's not like you're doing combo. Uh, wait, opener. opener, auto, double, there it linker. Is. Opener, auto, linker, auto, auto, linker, auto, linker, auto, and whatever and then until finish. End it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that was really weird for me. So, I, but you know, I'm I'm gonna keep trying it. I, I haven't really had time today just because it was a busy day. But. Right, right. And I'm sure, just like me, you're probably exhausted right now. Right? Oh, I woke up at 11:30. <laughs> I, in fact, I was woken up at 11:30. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah. And then I, you know, that was not when I wanted to wake up. It was <laughs> about three hours later, so yeah, I, had, yeah, I had to do uh -huh. a lot of work basically. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, tonight or tomorrow morning, I'm definitely going to put more more time into there. I'm really interested in checking it out. Interesting. Someone actually says that Mike Z helped with that tutorial. Oh, very so cool. That's super cool. So the guy who did the Skullgirls tutorial helped with this tutorial. So that's actually really cool. That is cool. Yeah. Yeah. Tons, tons of content in there. It looks, it looks really nice. Also, my PC runs it. So it gives your PC a score on how well it runs it, right? Score out of a thousand. I got one thousand and twenty-four. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. I mean, they actually said before you can play online, you have to pass a test. Like it tests yeah, your it internet does. connection and can like I and guess your, it can and how well your your computer runs it. I guess it literally can reject you then, right? Like you can't play online. Yeah. You're gonna cause lag. Screw you. I think so. I think so. And the the test was that two cinders play against each other, two CPU cinders, mm -hmm. and they're tossing all the balls out <laughs> and they're like flaming themselves. <laughs> Just like the most graphically intense right, right. stuff so sparks do. flying yeah, everywhere. Yeah. Okay, that's kind of funny. That's yeah. kind of funny. Oh man. So I'm looking forward to trying it out more. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's it's fun. Very like, interesting. Very I, I wish I could play it more. Dude, I have barely played Street Fighter Five. Like I said, I was gonna stream myself playing Vega like three weeks ago, and I haven't played them online. <laughs> Gotta get yet. in there, man. Like I literally haven't played the game. Like in two or three weeks, dude. It's driving me nuts. It's driving me because I just want to. I just want to sit down and grind away at this game. But one, you've still played more than some of the other commentators out there. <laughs> this is fair. <laughs> but yeah. also, also, dude. Every time I have a free hour, it's like gotta catch up on Daredevil. <laughs> gotta catch oh, up on Daredevil. Come on, gotta catch up on Daredevil. So yeah. Boo. Dude, it's so good. Oh, anyways, yeah. So I, I do want to play some more. So, but like I said, that's what I'm probably gonna do on Thursday. I'm gonna stream myself <laughs> playing some Alex. So. I was not talking about Ski Sonic. In fact, it's probably the last person you would think. <laughs> 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 all right, all right, all right. Um, and is there anything else to talk about right now? Um, no, not that I think of. Uh, again, look, free to play. Get it on the PC. Try it out. If you don't like it, delete it. But you may, turns out that you may really like it. And again, like you said, combo system, 
very unusual, very different than what you think. Like you see, watch it and everything, and then when you play it, it doesn't feel like a combo of any other game. It's a, it's a really unique thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's definitely worth trying out. So yeah, give it a shot. Really interesting character designs. Uh, there was a couple of other things that I wanted. Was there one more thing I wanted to mention about it? Uh, no. Okay. 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 Well, time for a break? Yeah, let's take a break. And when we come back, we're going to be talking about NCR, which was amazing. Last weekend? Oh, yeah, it was great. A, a, a Marnzing, that's what it was. So, okay, we'll be right back. All right, welcome back to the Tuesday. Let's talk about NorCal Regionals, That's NCR right. 2016. Took place this past weekend, was the second premier event for the Capcom Pro Tour, fourth uh, tournament overall. Because mm. like, every time I kept saying second, they're like, what about Con Winter Clash? And I was like, that was a ranking event. So there has been two ranking events already, and now two premier events. Got it, yeah. And uh, it was a really good one. Of course, it wasn't just Street Fighter. There were plenty of other games there, too. Mm-hmm. And as far as I could tell, everything went really well. Like the the organization seemed on point. Right. The mm-hmm. layout was great. It ran on time and everything. It did. Yeah. Obviously, it didn't have the thousand twenty four entrance that final right. round had. But you know, having just come from final round, that was all the drama last week. So it was you know really cool to go to NCR. And last year, NCR had that problem where they played on the wrong version to start the top eight. You Ooh, know, yeah. which is what caused the. Uh, uh, John Troy to buy Kazunoko a ticket to SCR, That's remember? Right. Because he won, and then when they replayed, he lost. That's you know, right. All that stuff. But this year, everything ran was ran really super smooth. Uh, I felt like everything, like there was just a, it was really well organized, and the bracket of death was just the best thing ever. So, what happened was they they took pre registration. And they still also took late registrants, people mm-hmm. who registered like the day of or whatever. But all of those people who registered late were stuck into one pool, pool number 16. Mm-hmm. It was reserved for specifically those people who did not pre-reg. It's basically their own like qualification tournament in a way. You know? Kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. And and I, I love that idea. Mm-hmm. You know, I think it's I think that's so smart. I, I don't want a situation which is typically happens where late registrants come in and they're just inserted into other pools, which are mm-hmm. already sort of tried to be balanced out. Mm-hmm. And what what happens is that sometimes you end up with more really good players in one pool than you would want mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because of the way the late registration right, forces cause you. Right, because you can't see them ahead of time because they didn't register exactly. early enough. You don't know they're coming. Exactly know? right. So that that's a hassle for everybody, and it also makes it so that you know, pools might have to be changed around if something really w- is weird, mm-hmm. and that's an inconvenience for, for everybody. So, it, but it would also suck to have no late registration, mm-hmm. uh, because that way people who don't have credit cards, don't have PayPal, or don't live in the country, or whatever, uh, don't know that they can make it right. on time in advance. It makes it that none of them can even play, which is also crappy. So mm-hmm. I feel like this is the best sort of solution mm-hmm. this is the best compromise yeah and you know people are some people said like oh that sucks because then you punish people they're all whatever dude if you wanted to win the tournament you're gonna have to face some good players anyway right so getting it out of death pool i mean look especially with the way that it did turn out yeah right? so look I, I mean who was in the death pool do you remember some of the names in there we had like k brad was in there mago was Mago. in there 
Punko was in there, Chris T was in there, Filipino Champ was in there, Marn was in there. Um, gosh. Yeah, was... F Champ ended up in like 97th place or something <laughs> like that. Yeah. Oh, that was, yeah, poor guy. <laughs> well, yeah. He, uh, he should have made sure that he was pre-registered. I don't know how he, well, he actually did say he thought he had pre-registered right. and somehow right. he wasn't. Which is, that's unfortunate. Right. But you right, definitely right, have right. to make sure that you are pre-registered. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. So uh, there was definitely a lot of uh, killers in that pool. Yeah, it was really and so tough. a lot of people were predicting who was going to make it out of there. A lot of people were like, oh, F Chap and Mago's got it. Mago and Punko, right. all these things like that. And Marn came at the last minute because he his stream viewers basically GoFunded him, you know, GoFundMe'd him yeah. to go. And at first, when he was going, he was like, I'm going to body everybody. Then he found out about the pool of death. He's like, well, sorry, guys. You paid yeah. for me to get destroyed. Yeah. That's not what happened. That's not what happened. <laughs> he, he took to calling the pool of death the pool of life. <laughs> and he kept, call, he kept saying it was free. Yeah. After he made it out on winner's side, having beat guys like Mago and K-Brad and like so many people a lot of people yeah. yeah it was a really tough road but that's not where the road ended mm -hmm. he kept going he kept going he, he kept going well you want to get to the results <laughs> sure well i mean look he beat a bunch of players he made it out of the pool in winner's final in the winner's side he made his way all the way through semi-finals bracket as well and ended up in top eight so yeah yeah uh, it was pretty great. The only person who he lost to before top eight was Infiltration, <laughs> who, of course, ended up winning the whole thing. Yeah, spoilers. Oh no, spoilers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, his run was ridiculous. I gotta say, he beat so F Marn beat Filipino Man, Kazunoko, um, Knuckle Do. He beat uh, Ricky Ortiz. And then you finally lost to Justin. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, results. It was super stacked, obviously. Top 16, Mago, Karen, Lamer Boy, Rashid, Snake Eyes, Zangief, Kazunoko, Kami, ninth. Yeah, I do want to point out the fact that Mago was the other person to make it out of that death bracket. Oh, yeah. And he made it all the way to top 16. So the two people made out of death bracket, not only did they get far, but they might have been, like, warmed up. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, honestly, you just went through a bunch of killers. Yeah. And now you're like, okay, let's do this. Yeah. Right? So they did really well. So you can't even say that the, that, that death bracket was unfair. Because if you make it out. Because, look, even if you were spread out, you're still going to have to beat a lot of those guys anyway to make it that far. Yeah. So, okay. Okay. It is what it is. Ninth place is A.S. Reynolds with Nikali. Nice. That was awesome. That Coming was awesome. into Street Fighter. Mm -hmm. uh, R.B. Bonchan, Ryu, Razor Sien with Fang. And YP Filipino Man with Chun-Li. Mm -hmm. Top 8. MJS Haitani with Nakali. And EG Ricky with Chun. 5th, Julio <coughs> Ken. And Liquid Knuckle Dew Nash. 4th, Marn with Mika. 3rd, EG J Wong with Karen. 2nd, Mad Cats Tokido with Ryu. Winner, RZR Infiltration with Nash. And again, he ran away with it. Yep, a repeat of last week's Grand Finals. That final round, Infiltration and Tokido. Tokido had two shots this time. So Tokido only faced him in grand finals that final round. Yeah. This time he had two shots and he just couldn't find an answer. And in fact, even right before the event, Daigo did a special Daigo the Beast TV stream where he analyzed the Ryu versus Nash matchup. Right. Supposedly to help Tokido prepare. But yeah. The problem is, look, you can prepare all you want for Nash. Can't you can't study and break down infiltration in that same way, right? Yeah, so. and you know I asked infiltration what his training is like. Mm -hmm. You know, does he go and meet up with Korean players? Uh -huh, How does that uh -huh. work? Not really. <laughs> Not really. He plays in training mode and then he plays online yeah. and on rank in ranked. Not even in like lounges. lounges. Yeah, it's like just playing randos online. And uh, thinking about it in training mode and basically by himself. Dude, people don't believe it. Like, a lot of people have this thing, like, you can only learn when you play against people that, you're better, that, that are better than you. Yeah. I mean, I always felt like there's something really good about playing people that you're better than. 
and training there because you really get an understanding of the flow of the game and what your character is capable of. You start learning how to move and everything. Because I remember when, when Justin used to live with me and I would play with him and I would train. Yeah. I just basically got put in the corner and died. <laughs> right? Yeah. Like, I was just like, I, I, I didn't feel like I was learning anything because I just got put in the corner and died. I have never felt as terrible playing Street Fighter as when I played Justin. Okay. I'm just going to be 100% honest with you. I have played against Alex Vai for my whole entire life. I have played against a lot of good players. When I played against Justin... It was like a whole different thing. Yeah. This is why my respect for Justin is so large because, yeah. like, seriously, it was he just knew everything I was gonna do. Yeah. And it was. Oh, I, so, I've been there. He's done the same thing so to me. So painful, dude. It's so painful. But yeah, I mean, infiltration is just by playing online. He's just like, oh, okay, this cool work. Oh, okay, I can move Nash this way. I can do all these things, and then he'll go and test things in training mode and. I think that actually works out well for him. He might be one of those people who gets better by beating up on people all day. He clearly does. I, I really think that the biggest way he gets better is just by thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh -huh. a lot of the things that I see him do, it's not necessarily setups. It's it's more about moving and being at the right spot. It was even like this in SF4. I mean, when he played Akuma, obviously setups are important. But if you if you go back and you take a look at just like the way he moves and where and to where and mm -hmm. when. All of those are, are really tough things to figure out, like, mm -hmm. even if you've played a lot. And he's just really good at that stuff. He's just like naturally is super awesome at it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there's a lot of just natural talent. Yeah. And um, very impressive win. So sucks for Justin that he dropped those <sighs> combos against Tokido that could have put him into grand finals. He said he had a lot of plans for infiltration, too. Yeah, he did. He said that because he thinks that Karen beats Nash. So he was like, oh, okay, I've got these things ready to go. And, yeah, he just, ugh. Yeah. And, and, you know, I said to Justin afterwards, I was like, dude, you Wong factored yourself. Yeah. Because that's exactly what he did. He dropped the winning combo, and then he, he, he thought about it. You could yeah, tell. Man. You could tell he thought about it. It went downhill. It. Yeah. But also, after that game, that Tokido squeaked by him. Mm -hmm. Uh Mago ran up to the stage That's and right, gave yeah. him all this advice that you could tell, like, immediately was helpful. <laughs> <laughs> he really changed up his game. Yeah, work, yeah, so. for sure. So, we but talked again, Tokido obviously deserves it. He's clearly the second best player right now. Seems like it, yeah. Uh, for the game. Made it there to Infiltration. But man, the gap between Infiltration and Tokido is, is, still, is still palpable. You it's know still big. I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, having Marn at fourth place is is a trip to me. Um, people have been asking, what is there to learn from Marn <laughs> having done well? What can I glean from his gameplay? What can I use myself? It's just the wrong question. I saw your tweet about magnets. <laughs> yeah, the Richard Feynman yeah. episode. <laughs> Replace magnets with Marn. And he's just talking about why you just can't answer some questions. Right. Uh, you just have to take for granted. Like, there have <laughs> to just be some truths in the world. Right, right. Because without that, you're just asking why forever. Mm -hmm. And uh, one, of those, one of those truths is just Marn does well. Yeah. I don't know why. I've never known why. Yeah. Uh, it's, it, but it's not... That's not a question that only I have wondered. Everybody's always wondered that. Everybody's been telling Marn that he sucks for a dozen years. Mm -hmm. And he's nevertheless won majors and gotten top eights, including at Evo, uh, in three, four different games. Right. Mm -hmm. So he's really good. I don't know why. It's just, uh, you know, it's, it's interesting because I, I really just feel like it's because he doesn't respect anybody. You know what I mean? He doesn't respect any... It's, it's twofold, right? I mean, if I really did have to give an analysis on it, right? Okay. It's one is that he doesn't respect anybody because he's kind of like the guy who's, like, terminally ill and you send him out to combat with a machine gun against 100 warriors. Like, what does it matter? He's going to die tomorrow anyway, so I'm just going to go out there and, like, shoot everybody. Like, okay. that's kind of how it feels to me. Like, he's just, like... He just goes out there and does whatever. Like, it just doesn't matter to him, right? And he just doesn't respect anyone. Two, honestly, I just feel like a lot of people psych themselves out because they're like, I don't want to lose to Marn. I don't want to be the guy losing to Marn. Because Marn was doing all the, the stream antics with the facial yeah. expressions. And, and we saw it. Even Remember how we said, we always talk about Ricky, how she loves to look at her opponent during in-between matches and everything. And she did one time and laughed because Marn was pretending to take off his shirt. And from that point on, all of a sudden, Ricky was like, 
very obviously trying not to pay attention to Marin in between matches. And it's almost like she psyched herself out that way. You know, I feel like it's kind of twofold. Like, Marin just doesn't care, and then people are just like, I don't want to lose the Marin, and then that's what makes them lose to him. Well, <laughs> a lot of people don't have respect for a lot of other people, and most of those people don't make top four at right, know, right. the most uh, stacked tournaments uh-huh. yet. So <laughs> I think there's got to be something more to it, and I just don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. You know, for a while I was Marn's demon. This is true. What? Really? Yeah, yeah, you can even ask him. In Street Fighter 4, he couldn't beat nice. me <laughs> early on. You know what? But, but you know, you're probably just... Because you've liked to play as much of a troll as him. No, no, that wasn't, that wasn't it. it. It wasn't that I was his demon so much. It was that he played Viper and he insisted on going in rather than playing away against Zengi. Oh, okay, And so okay, I just okay. beat him because he right, never... Right, but, right. But, it was, but it was so... It's such a Marn thing to do, right? Right, like, right. He's not going to He's not gonna learn to... How many times did he jump in against... Yeah, 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 yeah. He just kept uh-huh, doing it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It was the same thing when I used to play against him. Right, That's how right, I know right. he's like that because he just kept on jumping in and I kept pressing three punches and lariating. Right. And right. he just wouldn't stop. Well, and I, I would be like, Marn, you should, you should zone. You have Seismo. <laughs> <laughs> and he would just jump in. I'm going to say this about Marn. I don't know. I feel like he's anti-flow. Because I've played Marn in casuals. And I can beat Marn in casuals. Like when we were playing Street Fighter 4 when Justin was like, because Marn would come over all the time because Justin was there, right? Yeah. And we would play. And then Justin would be like, here, you and Marn play. And we would play and we would go even. Right? I guarantee you if I played Martin in a tournament, I would get destroyed. <laughs> I would get opposite. destroyed. So he's like anti-flow. Uh, like in casuals, he's the worst. That's funny. But in tournaments, he's just ridiculous. So I don't know. I don't know what it is about. I don't know what it I is I don't know. About. It's just one of those truths in the world, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man. Okay. Fifth, uh, do. That's that's great. Happy to see him being consistent. Yeah. Same with Julio. Consistency. Mm-hmm, Same mm-hmm. with Haitani. Consistency. Ricky was just outside of top eight last time as well, mm-hmm. so we're seeing a lot of consistent play. Yeah. And Sien was just outside of top eight last time. Like, it's, it's awesome. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about the... So it was interesting because a lot of people pointed out that, you know, the character representation was Nash times two. If you replaced one of the Nashes with Fung, it would be the exact same character representation for the final round. Do you think that's just coincidence, or do you think that's indicative really of anything? I really think it's okay. coincidence, yeah. Okay. In fact, even talking with Infiltration, I asked whether Mar- whether Nash is too good. Mm-hmm. And oh, I just asked what he thought about Nash, and he said, okay. Yeah, uh-huh. Hard to use, but oh, okay. <laughs> planning to switch to Alex. <laughs> I mean, look. It doesn't even matter. A lot of people are like, if you don't have a three-frame normal, your character sucks. Nash doesn't have a three-frame normal. Yeah, or seem... an invincible dragon punch. Right, and it doesn't seem to bother him at all. So, yeah. so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Look, honestly, I feel like Infiltration could have went with any character, and he'd probably be winning with that character. Pretty much. It's, it's kind of ridiculous. But before we move on, let me ask you another question. So, Xian with Fang. Yeah. Uh, Snake Eyes with Zangief. Do you feel like either of those players can do better in tournaments if they stay with those characters? Or do you feel like that those two characters struggle? I asked Nick about this. He said, by the way, he thinks Geef is just a mid-tier character. Okay. Not bad. Okay. But uh, he also thinks that he might need to use another character for some matchups, which I've okay. said I, you're probably, you're right, probably right. right. Um, he did that to fight Sagat. Right, before, exactly. Right? So. And he mentioned maybe Ryu. I said I think that's a great idea because this is like a brawler offensive Ryu mm-hmm. like I could totally see you playing it um, but uh, he just says he feels so comfortable with Geef that mm-hmm. like he's sticking with him right, so right. I feel like if he were playing a different character he would just be uncomfortable <laughs> and maybe not as successful if he wants to learn how to play Ryu he needs to watch you play he needs to learn Grappler Ryu yeah right? Grappler Ryu yeah he needs to learn the Ultra David school of Ryu yeah just playing for the grab and the break <laughs> that's basically what I play for uh, I think yeah. Ryu can play like that what so. about birdie? Someone says someone in the chat says that he would be broken as a birdie player. I'm sure he would be great as a birdie player. Hmm. I feel like he'd be good with a lot of characters though. Okay. So, okay. Uh, I, I feel like Geef is more of, of his strength than birdie, mm-hmm. but either way. Okay. So what about Xian? I really think Xian should play Dalsam or Vega. Yeah. I really do. I'm surprised he's not using Dalsam. Well, you know, he did an interview at final round, and oh, in that right. interview, yeah. he said that partly he was playing Fang to get the gimmicks going early. Mm-hmm. To, he was very upfront about it to gimmick people out early on mm-hmm. 
and that he might switch away after that. He said he also thinks that Faye is weak, or sorry, that Fang is weak, um, but that he just feels like there's a lot of power in those early gimmicks, mm -hmm. which I think is true. Um, but now that that stuff's getting figured out, it's probably better for him to move on. I, I don't, look, I don't think that Fang is bad long term. I do think he's going to get better. I don't think that's a problem. But I also think that if you have a chance to win ten thousand dollars on a given weekend early <laughs> right, on, yeah, like you should okay, probably do okay. your best to take it. Okay, so okay. May maybe like keep Fang in the back, keep working on it, bring it out once it's ready. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I, but I, that's it. I really feel like Sim and Vega fit. Yeah, for this I mean, race. he used Sim in Street Fighter Four before he went again, right? So it seems like a natural fit for him, especially since Sim is so good in this game. But even even saying that, like I think the the dominance of Sim was definitely very exaggerated. Like, oh yeah, uh, he's definitely. I don't think he's a top three character. Me neither. Right. So, but again, people who aren't in top three are like right there. So the game is still so ridiculously balanced. I think that's true. And of yeah. course, it's still early. You know, who knows how it's going to turn out? Yeah. So, because remember when Ultimate Marvel versus Capcom three first came out, everyone thought Ghost Rider was going to kill everybody because you couldn't get in on him. It's funny. And then he became completely irrelevant. <laughs> so you know, there you go. Okay. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Seventh place is Northwest Majors, Kyle P, Spencer Doom Virgil, and Marn. Zero Virgil Strider. Uh, fifth, PHO, maybe Fa, Apology Man, mm -hmm. with Firebrand, Doom Scroll. Fifth, KIT, SBK, with Wolverine, Dante Akuma. Fourth, Kai, 626, Elverling. Yeah. Zero Taskmaster and Virgil. Third was BT Clockwork, with Virgil, Doom Strider. Second, Justin Wong, E.G. Wong, Wolverine Storm Kuma, and Virgil Storm Kuma. Winner, New York Chris G. Morgan, Doom, and Virgil. Mm -hmm. yeah. We actually got to watch this because we weren't busy the whole day. <laughs> That's cool. So I did watch it. Yeah, lots of fun action there. Man. Look, I'm telling Killer you. Kai. Dude. The drop. Oh, the drop. You're the thinking drop. of the drop. I was thinking about his match versus Apology, man. Where, he, where the shirt came off. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, I asked him about that. Uh -huh. Like, is that just for show, or do you feel like there's some okay, real benefit okay. to that? Uh -huh, uh -huh. And his response I thought was very interesting. He said that he, he thinks of a tournament match as not just being between the two players and just mm -hmm. between the two characters or teams. He says there's all these moving parts, and one of those parts, some of those parts are like the audience, the, the game sound, mm -hmm. the gameplay, mm -hmm. the opponent you know, the room that you're in, right, all right. these different moving parts. Okay. And so... It's very zen. Yeah, right? It's a nice. very interesting response. And so he says that what he wants to do when he's losing is to, is to switch some of those pieces around. Uh, and that one way to do that is to, like, take off his shirt and get the crowd, like, going. Right. Because when the crowd's going, that piece has changed, mm -hmm. the room has changed, the opponent it changes changed. the opponent. Yeah. And so he just wants to shuffle them up. And get get back in there, and uh, so that's what he that's what Dude, he tried to do, and it worked. Look, I'm also gonna say this. I think most Marvel players know how emotional Apology Man is. That was the right person to do it on. Like when he was playing against Clockwork, if he had taken his shirt off, I don't think it would have changed anything. That's what he said. He had said you can only do it only so often, mm -hmm. and that uh, he don't he didn't think there's it would a be... time and a place is what he always says. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. That's right, and he didn't think the clockwork was the one. So I thought that was a really cool response. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and he, and you know what? He can get away with it. <laughs> he can get away with it and uh, not be embarrassed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. Oh man. There was no Filipino champ, by the way. He didn't enter. Right, because he's he only he feels like he needs to focus on Street Fighter Five, yeah. and that he only really has time for one game right yeah. now. So. Oh, good job, to Chris. But, um, I mean, yeah, uh, the, the Chris-Justin match, very, very close. Justin's playing this fairly adequate Virgil that he's basically just making get, get by on his own fundamentals. Yeah. Like, I, apparently, people were saying it looked better than it did at final round. Okay. But, dude, I don't even think Justin probably played at all between then, right? So, unless he played Marn with some Marvel casualty oh, or something. Oh, maybe, yeah. But, yeah, his his Virgil is his Virgil's cute. That's cute. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. It's well, cute. He got second place, so it's pretty good still. Mm -hmm. Smash Bros. Me uh, Melee. Seventh place is C four D Samus and J P Captain Falcon. Fifth, Doctor Dr. Grin Sheik, and D Nuna with Marth. Fourth, Henrius with Fox. Third, Memorane with Falcon. Mm -hmm. Second place, Y P Bizarro Flame with Ganondorf. Man, that's pretty great. 
First place, TSG KFC with Fox. Yeah, I watched this too. Yeah. yeah. It was cool. Yeah, I mean, I heard that... Shout uh, out to Ganondorf. The Smash community didn't have a great experience yeah. with NCR past year, so there's not a lot of big names there. For sure. <clears throat> so, yeah. yeah. But it, it was it's cool to see <clears throat> a Ganon do well. Mm-hmm. Ultra Street Fighter 4. <laughs> we watched this. Because <laughs> we commentated it, That's in right. fact. Mm-hmm. Top 8, 7th were MOV with Ibuki and Ken, and DM El Cubano Loco with Vega. 5th were NY Chris G with Sakura, and Lucan with Evil Ryu. 4th was Brent's Cool with Rufus and Rolento. 3rd was Liquid Knuckle Dew with Guile, DiCaprio, Akuma. 2nd place, Panda TV Dako with Evil Ryu, Akuma, Ryu. And winner, Kanba, Doyu, Shaohai. With Evil Ryu, Elena. Yeah, it's it's still really funny to me how everybody turned on the game so quickly. Yeah. <laughs> like, like I mean, dude, look at the chat right now. We've yeah, got resident sleepers all over the place, right? That's surprising. Dude, but yeah. it's it's just like literally like I don't even think it was like that. It's not being supported by money. Like it just felt like everyone was just like. God damn, I'm sick of this game, and like I really need to go do something else now. Yeah. You know, people just don't want to play this. It seems like anymore, so it's it's really funny. Well, first and second place were training partners, both from China. Yeah. You know, apparently China still plays this game. <laughs> uh, it was cool to see them play because you know obviously they weren't pulling any punches, but at, yeah. the same, at the same time, like they were sort of like laughing and having a good time. So right. it was really cool to watch. Did we get a sub here? Not as crappy as I was worried it would be. Smash Bros. for Wii U. Seven oh, places. Shout outs to E Chang 65. He's subscribed 14 months in a row. Wow, that's a long time. Thank you. Thank you. PXG York with Olimar and DET Crispy Tacos with Mario and Wii Fit twa- uh, Trainer. Fifth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fifth was the Mogul with Rob and PHO Apology Man with Lucario. He said he was going to win, by the way. Yeah, he was pretty confident. uh Fourth, Andy Sorrow with Bowser Jr. Third, NME Zex with Diddy Kong Sheik Marth. Second, SG Hitaku with Mewtwo. And winner, TA Trevante Sheik and Bayonetta. Bayonetta. Also watch that. Yeah, that was cool. Oh, did you get to see a lot of it? I didn't actually see a lot. Yeah, of it. yeah. I was I, well. It was just after Street Fighter Four. Right, and that's when I went back to the room and took a nap. So, oh, fair enough. Yeah. Oh no, it was before SF Four actually. Oh, I was still asleep. You were still asleep. Yeah, I was yeah, still asleep. Okay. That's what it was. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, I th- it was cool, man. I'd never seen you two <laughs> played like that, so that was cool. Did I say fourteen years instead of fourteen months? <laughs> that would be a long time, absolutely. Uh, dude, I mean, it would be. I wouldn't be surprised. That's what happens when your brain is as old as mine, so... Uh, Trevante beat people in Street Fighter. Who, who right. was it? I That's forget right. it was... Uh, yeah. Somebody beat someone did. really good. Somebody yeah. really good. I even just remember hearing people talking about it, too. I think he almost beat K-Brad. Yeah. And he did beat somebody else who was really right, good. Right, well, right. if you remember, let us know in the chat. Mm-hmm. Killer Instinct, seventh place is Mike Loafers with Jago and KSBLT Snowblind with Hisako. Fifth, Virus916, Jago, Maggot Sai, Sable Wolf. Fourth, BMA Kinetic Onslaught with Sable Wolf. Oh, he beat Chris T. That's what it was. Ah, Chris T. Yeah. That's right. Thank you. Uh, Noble Dab with uh, TJ Combo. I didn't know he played it like that. And second was PH Nasser, who I also... Oh, no, that's right. Yeah, he told me. With Orchid and Jago. Winner, Rocksteady, mm-hmm. a.k.a. The Hot O. That's right. Rick. A.k.a. Rick. The, the, the T.O. for Combo Breaker. He won Killer Instinct yeah. with Glacius. I mean, he said that the competition there wasn't, like, the best of players and okay, everything like okay. that. But, well, you know, yeah. it's still cool. Whatever happens. He, he ended up getting a medal. So, there you go. Guilty Gear Excerpt Signs, seventh places were Nefarious Al with Eno and Pompa Romp with, Ven- with Venom. Fifth, Zero Hour with Sin and Fu with Leo. Fourth, TS Nerd Josh Elfelt. Third, mm-hmm. HNH Kizzy K with Sin. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's cool. Second, The Beautiful Dude with Zato. <laughs> and winner, Bjorn, Son of Bear with Chip. That's really odd to me that, like, Kazunoko didn't play. I guess he probably didn't play. Yeah. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he didn't get there because this. I think that was mostly on Friday or something like that. I see. So yeah, he didn't get there on time or something. But. Okay. Mortal Kombat X seventh Marine with Acidic Alien and Chris G with Bojutsu Kung Jin. Oh, cool! Nice. Fifth, 
Shinobi and Enra with Noxious Reptile, Smoke, and Swarm Queen Devora. Fifth, Noble Dab with Wrestler Jax, Hunter Predator. Fourth, GG the Googs with Shirai Ryu, Takeda. Or, excuse me, Shirai Ryu. <laughs> right. Takeda. Uh huh. In fact, Takeda, even? I forgot how Yeah, was, I think game. it was like Takeda or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's how the game pronounces it. Mm. Third, X Shadow X Darkness. Cool. There's no X at the end there? No, no, no. no. Yeah, it's, so it's X S H D W X underscore okay. darkness. So <laughs> maybe it's like an old like Shadow it's like a, it's, Darkness. It's like a Counter Strike team, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. X Shadows. Yeah. Darkness. Anyway, with Flame Fist, Liu Kang, and Shaolin Kung Jin. Second, Shinobi Retro Tech with Master of Souls Ermac, Royal Storm Katana, Assassin Katana, and Covert Ops Sonya Blade. Mm-hmm. Good work. First, KHTC Sinister with Master of Souls Ermac, Wrestler Jax, Mystic Ermac. That's cool. I didn't get to watch any of this, unfortunately. Okay. It kind of made me sad. That was, uh, it, it, the, the top eight was on Saturday? or Saturday, Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Nitro plus blasters, heroin's infinite duel. Hey, dude, there was a thousand dollar pop bonus. For I'm not game. making fun of it. I think that's super cool. <laughs> yeah, Moo Master seventh with heart and the Phantom Knot with saber. Fifth, sudden blackout with Saya and Tone, Tone or Tone, with Homura. Mm-hmm. Fourth, Delta with saber. Third, Koopa with Ain. Second, Zero Hour with Ethica, and winner was Jasipi Two DX with Homura. Okay. Yeah, no, I mean, that $1,000 pop bonus was given completely by the publisher. So I think that's cool. That yeah, it is cool. The game, Definitely. Sure. Yeah. Super Street Fighter Two Turbo. Fourth, Silent Scope with Cammy. Yeah. Third, Afro Cole with Dawson. Second place, Ultra Combo with Sagat, Old Sagat, Brisher Ken. He played a Vega at some New Ken. Point, I think, or... Or oh, yeah. was it Kev that played Vega? Yeah, it was Kev. Okay. Winner, Kev, with Balrog and Vega. That is to say, Boxer and and uh, Cole and Claw. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was fun. We got to commentate the top eight for that. That Agreed. was super fun. It always, was a Always fun. a blast doing a, a Super Turbo. You know it. So, that was NCR. Everybody said it went well. I just want to shout out Old Town Sacramento. Yeah, actually, I, I was about to talk about that because I feel like a lot of people don't go. I kept making fun of Sacramento on stream when yeah. I was commentating with Andrew and Andrew's like, why are you, t- why are you dogging Sacramento? So yeah, much? yeah. So look, Sac- Sacramento, the city itself is not that big, although the mm-hmm. metro area has a couple million people, but the city itself is kind of small. And so like maybe there's not a ton to do there. But where the hotel happened to be was just across the street from Old Town Sacramento, mm-hmm. which is sort of a touristy area with lots of old 1800s looking buildings mm-hmm. and and uh, a bunch of restaurants, bars, like all the, all the tourist shops. Sidewalks are wood boards and stuff like that. Yeah. I, I remarked to David that I feel like I'm at like Disneyland or Knott's Berry Farm when I walk on them. Cause yeah. It's like the only place that you run into that these days, right? Well, yeah, that's what they're copying, right? Yeah, I mean, they're copying exactly. that kind of style. So uh, that, that was definitely cool. And in fact, even though we've been to other much bigger cities, Atlanta, for example, a ton mm-hmm. of awesome stuff to do in Atlanta, mm-hmm. but we are in a hotel that's nowhere near any of that stuff. Right. Uh-huh. And we're not going to get to it. But this hotel was like right across the street from a lot of things. Yeah, you just and, go under the tunnel. Yeah. And in fact, the other side too, which was like the more modern downtown Sacramento, was actually all closed down. Yeah. Right? So Because the previous renovating, years yeah. I went there, there was a bunch of stuff. And I think I found out why it's renovating, too, mm. is that when I left the hotel, the Uber driver pointed out that the new Sacramento basketball, the Sacramento King Stadium, is, like, right there. Really? Like, they're building it right there in the middle of downtown to get more people there. It's not in the boonies anymore. Yeah. So what's going to happen is that place is going to explode. There's going to be yeah. a lot more restaurants. So that whole area is probably going to all of a sudden just... Which will be cool for the town because it's going to get a lot more, you know, businesses and stuff like that there. But man, I'm sure they're going to hate traffic on <laughs> on the days of the games. But yeah, but yeah, no. Apparently, it's gonna it's gonna get bigger there. But uh, no, Old Town Sac. I'm not gonna lie, it was really nice. Yeah, it's, it's, I fun. It was fun. it's very quaint. Quaint is definitely the word to use to describe. We went to that. Joe's Crab Shack two nights in a row. We yeah. both got the same meal two nights in a row. Yeah, so. well, I mean. There's not so many options for me at the Joe's Crab Shack, so. It's... <laughs> also, 
the weirdest part was literally they changed the menu between the Saturday night and Sunday night. Yeah. Like, we walked in on Sunday, and they gave us completely different-looking new menus, and, and the waitress is like, they changed our menus, like, literally today. Like, corporate headquarters changed the menus, and we happened to be there for the for the new opening day of it, I guess. Yeah, and, like, they lost, like, a ton of their dishes and stuff. It was very weird. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. Anyway, it was all right. Anything else about NCR? Um... No, it was really cool. It was really cool. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, definitely felt a lot more like a premiere event this year. Agreed. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully it can keep up that power uh, next year. Yeah, man. I'm with you. Okay. All right. Anything else uh, going on right now, or should we take a break? Uh, can I just mention any quick upcoming events, if so? Uh, let's save that for after the break. You got it. All right. Let's, when we come back, uh, more information on events and games. Be right back. All right, welcome back to the show. Yep, just of course want to give a quick shout out to Connecticut, of course, who provided us these awesome statues back here. Also, you saw during the break, they have the slides for their figures coming out. They also have a Daigo Umahara figure coming out. So, very interesting stuff. So, yeah, for sure. My question to you is, when do you want to do the giveaway? Oh. For some Street Fighter Five codes. You want to wait? Wait till the end? Or? Sure, I guess. Okay, yeah. sure, okay. Whenever you want to do it. Okay, okay. Let's move on to some more uh, games and event news uh, for upcoming events. Okay. There's actually a lot of really cool stuff coming up this weekend. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Uh, for one, Hype Spotting 5. Ah, is, yeah. This is going to be a... Is this a premiere event? or No, oh, it's a ranking, it's just a ranking event. But Hype Spotting V or Hype Spotting 5 is coming up at the Hilton Glasgow in uh, Glasgow, uh, United Kingdom. Did I butcher that or did I say that right? Glasgow? Whatever. Glasgow? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Glasgow. Me fail English? That's impossible. <laughs> Who cares, man? <laughs> uh, it's going to be streamed on twitch.tv slash versus Scotland, which is going to be the mainstream. Guys, dude, the raffle's not starting yet. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Smash 4, which is going to be on twitch.tv slash dat team live. Uh, Tekken will be streamed on King J, which is J-A-E. Anime is going to be streamed on Reset Aberdeen. And KOF, UMVC3, KI, USF4 will all be streamed on Fakery. It's also a Mortal Kombat XL Cup European qualifier. Oh some my, some okay. people in the chat want to clarify that actually it's in Scotland, not the United Kingdom. Ah, um. but that's the Scots' fault, isn't it? <laughs> they had their vote, they had their chance, and they chose to remain part of the UK. Mm -hmm. So don't blame anybody but yourselves. It's what it says here. It says United Kingdom. I'm just reading what I'm given here. So, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Reading what I'm. Given. I'm looking forward to watching that event. Yes, for sure, for sure. Um, also, this weekend is Pound 2016. It's going to be in uh, McLean, Virginia, at the Ritz Carlton. This is going to be another Smash event coming up. Uh, Smash Melee, Smash Wii U, and regular Super Smash Brothers singles and doubles for both. Which will be streamed on VG Boot Camp as well as VG Boot Camp 2 and DC Esports Lands. That's a complicated one there. Okay. Um, also coming up, uh, the second of uh, the series, I guess, that is starting to be a series. So yeah, it was it just the Wizard World Gaming in Portland, was it? Or Seattle? Ooh, I believe it was Portland, yeah. It was Portland, right? Uh, but this weekend coming up is going to be in St. Louis. That is going to be at America Center Convention Complex at the Convention Plaza in St. Louis, Missouri. Um, this will be streamed on Wizard World Gaming. Street Fighter V has an extra $3,000 prize pool. Dang. Tekken 7 has a $3,000 prize pool. Awesome. And an extra $1,000 is also going to Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm. Okay. 
Yeah, no, but I, I've heard that these events are very laid back. It's yeah. not quite like a, a fighting game because it's just a big convention of you know all sorts of stuff. Yeah, and like a lot of famous WWE wrestlers showed up last yeah, time. It was true. like Xavier Woods and all those guys were hanging out with everybody. So yeah. that's coming up uh, this coming weekend in St. Louis. Okay, cool. Uh, also coming up this weekend in uh, Santa Ana, I guess, which is pretty close to us, is a not, is a smaller Smash tournament, which is the Tespa West Collegiate Coliseum. Uh, they're going to be playing Smash Four, SFV, and Melee. Uh, there's no stream information that I have here, but that will be taking place in Santa Ana, California. You can find out more information at collegiatecoliseum.com. It's at the eSports Arena. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, you're right. It's at the eSports Arena. There you go. Okay. Um, also coming up this weekend, the House of... What did they change it to now? Oh, I don't remember, to be honest. It was honest. like the House of the Combat or something. Like, they changed it for, yeah. like, more, you know... But uh, it's actually Bum's Birthday Bash. Okay. Which is cool, because I think they did this last year as well. But basically, a whole bunch of people come over and play fighting games for Bum's birthday. Awesome. And it's going to be really cool. So it's going to be streamed on twitch.tv slash bum163. The one is a number, the three is a number, but six is spelled out. Um, that's going to be taking place in the Bronx, New York. And I think a lot of uh, strong players are going to be there. I mean, look, there's a $1,000 pop bonus for Street Fighter V at his birthday bash. $700 pop bonus for Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. $700 pop bonus for Smash 4, and $500 pop bonus for MKXL Dang. at Bum's Birthday Bash. Dang. That is how you throw a birthday party. That is how you do it. That's a lot of dough. <laughs> That's actually super cool, though. Is that definitely cool? I think a lot of New York players are going to be there. So. I would be if I were them. So check that out. House of Chaos. Yep. And then also this weekend, um, they do this every year. This takes place at uh, NYU, is Spring Fighter 2016. So I, I did remember Arturo saying that you're going to have to pick between Bum's Birthday Bash and Spring Fighter 2016. Oh, that's too bad. So Spring Fighter 2016 is an event where they have basically a talk where they interview someone from the fighting game community. In the past, they've interviewed Alex Vai and other uh, um, members of the FGC, as I said. Uh, Seth is usually the host who does most of the interviewing, asks a lot of the questions. And this year, the guest that they're bringing is Ricky Ortiz. Yeah. So that's very cool that she's going to make it out there. Uh, definitely want to tune that in. That will be streamed on twitch.tv slash nycfurby. There will also be a tournament there, like they did last year, that whoever wins that gets a free ticket to EVO. That's awesome. So if you want to see if you can pr try your luck, or try your skill, I should say, and win a ticket to EVO when you're anywhere in the New York area, try Spring Fighter 2016. And also, like I said, it, I'm sure it'll be an awesome talk with you. Yeah, Ricky. I'm looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And then uh, some other... Whoops. Let's see here. I have some other. Oh, geez. Oh, man, it's old brains. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I don't know if this was announced before, but uh, Texas Showdown 2016 is scheduled for April 22nd through the 23rd, so that's coming up very, very soon. Um, they've been doing a lot of good stuff. They, they've been uh, the two original people who ran Texas Showdown a long time ago, back running these new Texas Showdowns. And um, Level Up is going to be out there streaming for them. Nice. They're going to be doing a lot of good work out there for them. So Very definitely cool. Definitely tune in. Lots of fun event. We've been the last couple of years. It's super fun. Yeah, so. it's been great. Yeah. Okay, that's all I have for uh, event news. Want to move on to some game news? Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, um, King of Fighters 14 has announced some more characters. Um, what was the chuckle about? Uh, didn't we talk about this last time? No, they announced different characters last time. This time they announced Athena. Like, literally, they released two trailers, like, within a week of each other. Oh, I guess I just talked about it on Twitter, maybe. I don't know. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, yeah. Uh, last week, I think they released, like, it was, like, Vice. And, no, it was, it was... Shell, Shelby or whatever the 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 Shumagorath yeah whatever the mix. one is with the eyeball yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. but now they've announced that Athena is back Athena Asamiya uh, part of the Psycho Soldier team and there's a new trailer that was revealed again yeah so um, in two weeks they revealed infinitely more trailers than for Alex Woo, plus two <laughs> um, 
And uh, also, um, two newcomers, I guess, that are part of the Team China, I guess, are Luang and Nelson. Nelson's part of Team China? I don't know. I mean, he looks... He's cool. a boxer. Uh, yeah, he, he definitely looks, looks cool. He looks Asian to me, so I, okay. don't, I don't know if he's part oh, of... Oh, and everyone says, the latter is a boxer that makes up one-third of the entirely new South American team. Oh, he's on the South America team. Okay, okay, got okay, it, Okay, cool, it. cool. Yeah, I don't love Athena's look. I never have really, but I feel like she especially looks like just kind of a too too young, kind of creepy looking oh, character right, 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 right. with the I mean, super piercing voice. I mean, look, it, like I, I said, like there's that, that uncanny valley problem with yeah. the game where it's like not cartoony enough and not real enough. <laughs> so everyone just looks really weird, you know what I mean? So, and I think that's kind of what makes Athena look particularly like a little doll in this in this game. It's kind of funky. And, uh, I mean, look, she's had a different outfit every game. That's that's what she does. Every King of Fighters... Is that so? Yeah, every King of Fighters game, her outfit changes. And uh, to be yeah. honest with you, this one's not one of my favorite ones, but... That's funny that I don't even know what the difference is. <laughs> I mean, when you actually look at them side by side, they're Are pretty they quite stark. Different? Yeah, the, some, well, she gets more schoolgirlish as it goes. Like, it started oh. out with her red shirt, and she had, like, the pants on and everything, but it just kept changing... As it went, so I see. Yeah, never noticed. Never noticed. Okay, but then also wanted to mention. Oh yeah, it was pretty different, huh? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, this is going. This news here is going to be important to like three people out there, probably. <laughs> but um, you know, Xbox One has backwards compatibility, and Tekken Tag Tournament Two is now backwards compatible on it. So if you you can get it for the 360 version on the Xbox One. As I said, for the like two or three people that want to play Tekken Ding. on the Xbox One, you know. But I figured I just might as well talk about that. So oh, I was hoping you were gonna keep going. No, I'm not weird. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. okay. Well, that's all I have for game news because we talked about everything else already. Yes. Uh, Patches and whatnot. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about uh, community stuff. Again, I always like to highlight stuff that the community members do, lots of really cool things. Uh, Lord Knight wrote another article for SRK called Common Fuzzy Jump Questions. Okay. So he just talks about fuzzy jumps and what they are and how they oh, work. Oh, cool. And okay. Stuff. I'll so, check that out. Um, so definitely check that out. That's on uh, SRK. Again, you can always go there. And at the very bottom of the article, there's always all these tags. If you click on the Lord Knight Explains tag, you can get a list of all the articles uh, that he's written. Lots of good stuff. Yeah, So definitely for sure. check that out. Um, also writing always good stuff on BrokenTier.com's blog is Viscant, or yeah. Visant, as it would be. Uh, so just check that out. Um, the light, latest one that he wrote about is about option selects. So if you go to BrokenTier.com uh, and click on the... <coughs> 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 And click, click on, on the blog, blog link. Yeah, click yeah. on the blog link, and then you'll be able to see it. And... I don't know what happened there. Dang, <laughs> James. Ugh. Also, um, Desk released a new combo video. Oh, I have Which seen was it. really sick. Okay. It's a really cool video where he basically takes like Ryu, Ken, and Chun Li, and like does transition combos between Street Fighter three, four, and five. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah. So he like, like, like a combo will lead into the next combo. You yeah. Know? Like, you know, because, you know, like, in Street Fighter 3, you could do all these, like, <laughs> massive stun combos. Yes, I do. <laughs> Am I missing something? No, no, no. I'm just laughing about you dying almost. Oh, okay, okay. <clears throat> but, like, he'll, like, stun someone in Street Fighter 5, and then he'll transition over to 3, where he starts juggling them a bunch. That's cool, all right. Yeah, it's a really, really, really cool combo video. So. Okay. Um, that's all I have for community stuff. So, anything else you want to talk about? relatively quick episode today. I suppose yeah I don't really think I have anything uh, okay well then let's do this then let's give away some Street Fighter 5 shall we sure how is this gonna operate what's the process uh, I'm gonna do it through Moobot again cuz Moobot's the easiest way to do that so uh... I almost sneezed but it went away I hate that yeah just sneeze you know like come on yeah, guys. I know. Come sneeze on, guys. feels good so yeah. people should write exclamation point raffle? Yeah, but, but not, not yet. yet. Not yet. Not, not yet. yet. Don't I'm, I'm going to reset the everything. I'm For gonna everybody who's doing it right now, you're guaranteeing that you won't win. Right, exactly. So I, I just clicked reset. I've reset the raffle. 
All right. Um, oh, when, when do you want to do a pocket stream, actually? We need to do that. Yes, we do. Time. I would like to do that this week, but I, that might not be practical. Okay. Um, okay. If not, then maybe like over the weekend. Okay. Okay. I mean, good. we'll be around over the weekend. So. Okay, okay. Well, the raffle has started, so definitely start entering in uh, exclamation mark raffle into the chat. Remind me what this is for. Okay, so the, I've got a bunch of prizes. The first prize is going to be for a PS4 digital copy of Street Fighter V. Okay, let so, me, uh, maybe I should write this down. Oh, like who wins and whatnot? Yeah, sure, sure. Or maybe, maybe I guess we have video evidence of it, so it's probably not too much. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to write it down anyway, so. Okay, write it uh, down. Um, good, good work. Um, but yes, uh, so a whole bunch of people are going into there, so I'm going to be giving away that. Okay. I'm going to be giving away one season pass. I'm going to be giving away two bearded Ryu costumes. Oh, interesting. And then I'm going to be giving away three digital Prima Street Fighter Five guides. Those are very nice. Yes, yes. I can confirm that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So everyone's, uh, how, do you, how, how, how long should I wait? I think we're good. I think, think we're, we're good. good. I th I've, we've been watching this exclamation point raffle for the last couple of minutes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, honestly, like if you win this raffle and you don't own a PS4, you're only playing on PC. I mean, I guess you could give it to your friend if you wanted to or something like that. But, you know, it's just... If you're playing on PC and you don't have any friends, just let somebody else take it. Yeah, exactly. Let, just let us know. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and close the raffle now. Well, I'll just do a draw for. I'll just do the draw directly. Actually, should I put it on stream so they know I'm not cheating? Yeah, definitely. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on a second. Um, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Let me change the screen capture area here to the raffle so that they know we are not cheating. Do, 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 do. Raffle. God, I'm like a human metronome over here. This I is know, fantastic. I know, you're going to be doing this for a while here. Oh, really? Ah, yeah. Okay. Okay, no. We ready? Oh, God. All right, and draw the name. Who Boom. is it? It is Monsieur Gauche. 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 Monsieur Gauche. You are the winner of a Street Fighter V digital copy. Um, na, 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 please na, na, respond na. in the chat either with an at Ultra Chen TV or an at J Chenzor so I can see that you want it. And then when we do, um, I will. What's the best way to do it? Uh, you know what? I'll have you. I'll message it to you on, on Twitch here. Makes sense. Hello. I'm not seeing any yet. Are you going to play Record Keeper right now? No, I'm going to do a countdown here. Okay, okay. Do I downloaded countdown. Clash Royale. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah, okay. I did. Okay, I did. Okay. You're going you're gonna to take a whole minute for this? Where is he? Well, that's the shortest I can do, I think. Oh, I don't man. think I can do anything oh, shorter man. than that. I feel like Monsieur Gauche is running out of time. Did he message it? Did I miss it? I haven't seen it. Did he type in chat? I don't know. I, I've tried and, trying to watch over here. Yeah, I know. Let's, let's do a little control effort. Oh, there he is. Yeah, there he is. I see oh, him. Oh, yeah, you see it? Yes, I do see him. Hey. Okay. Monsieur Gauche. Uh, once the stream ends, don't go anywhere. I will message you. Or actually, don't worry. I'll mess. I'll just send it to you a message on Twitch, and then. Um, just like send a PM, right? You can do that now. Yeah, yeah. I can send a PM in there. So. Oh, you mean like the whisper thing? Yeah, a little whisper. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that because I'm gonna mistype it and it's gonna go to everybody and everyone's gonna like. Can't you just click on the name and do it? I don't know. I've actually. never done it. I've never done it. So. Yeah. So I don't want to test it right now. No I'll problem. send you a private Twitch message after our stream ends for the Street Fighter V PS4 digital copy. All right, so the next prize that we're going to give away is going to be a Street Fighter V season pass. Now, I'm going to go back over here uh, to whoops, this here, back to Moobot. I'm going to reset the draft. So reset the raffle. Do people have to re reopen it? Yes, they do. They have to redo it. They Dang. have to redo it. So there you go. Uh, how do I get rid of this thing here? Oh, I'll, I'll do a draw again later on. So, 
So, enter the raffle again. Let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got. How long should I wait to like, give people the opportunity to do this for? I'm just gonna wait forever so you have to keep doing that all It's not time. easy. It's not, I'm not naturally musically talented, so. I could definitely hear it like losing the rhythm. Uh, that was on purpose. Okay, well. okay, okay. <clears throat> I like how Muffin Man is like trying to write messages like he thinks that's gonna work. Yeah, come on, man. Dude, if he wins, I, I am 100% not giving it to him. Dude. It's the power of randomness. Yeah, exactly. All right, and let's sure, go back Ju here. Justin Wong wins half of all FGC raffles, but that's <laughs> sometimes randomness produces results like that. <laughs> Wasn't one guy winning all the raffles at NCR? Oh, I know, was, uh, was... Someone was, like, people were getting mad. Right, anyways, here we go. Ready? We are going to do a draw here. Let's do, the, dude. If, if we give subscribers like more of a chance, like literally, that would be giving like three people more of a chance. Zoinks! I have no idea how many subscribers we have. The Thanks new winner is Fireball it. Stars. Hey. <laughs> da -na -na -na. All right, Fireball Stars, definitely send us a message. If you won this, that's what the you're looking at the stream right now. Yeah, I know. On I'm, the stream. Yeah, I know. It's streamception. It's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty meta. Yeah, exactly. I just want to make sure because I've got Ultra Chen <laughs> on this one and I've got Jay Chenzo on this one. So make sure you at Ultra Chen TV or at. No, I do love you, Pahel Punch, for for. For uh. Hey, what up? What are you doing? Oh, I just keep watching the chat. It's all right. Okay. Weak. That's what I tried to make Dan here do, but he, oh. he, wasn't, he wasn't configurable enough. So. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Fireball stars. Fireball, Fireball stars. stars. Are you here? Fireball stars. Hey. Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay, so you get a free... Street Fighter Five season pass. If you want it, if you want it, you have to confirm that you want it. Do you want it? Do you want it? I'm sure he wants it. <laughs> That's not very nice, Mr. Friday. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, what's the season pass for? So when you get it, you get all characters basically for, for the what? rest of the for the rest of the year. I think and like a lot all the new costumes that come out. You're talking about Street Fighter Five? Yeah, for Street Fighter Five. Yeah, this is all Street Fighter Five stuff. Okay, it's all Street Fighter Five stuff. I'm gonna assume he wants it, so let's go ahead guess. and go to the next one. So sure thing, he doesn't have the game, but he has friends who have. Awesome. Fair enough. Yeah, that's a, that's do great. with it what you will. All right, so the next thing we're gonna give away is a couple of. Hot Ryu costumes. Okay, cool. So I have a, I have two Hot Ryu costumes to give away. So we're gonna go back to this screen here, so you can see me be completely fair. Go back to the Mubot page. I'm gonna reset the drawing, reset the raffle. So the rear raffle was reset. So now everybody's raffling. Get your raffles in. I'm gonna let you call when to stop. It just depends on when now. You, how tired you are. Oh, you want me to just draw it now? <laughs> you want me to just draw it now? Ah, uh, give him a couple more seconds. Okay, okay. Because we have to give them 30 seconds, you right? Because everything is delayed. Oh, that's screen, true. Right, so. Although they, well, in any case. I'm not gonna quibble with that. Dude, there's an announce winner in chat button here. Oh, what does that do? It probably just writes it to the chat. That... Uh, do you want to do that? Well, I mean, after you click and pick the winner, then you click on that and it probably writes it into the chat. So. Makes sense to me. All right, let's do it. All right, okay, ready? Yeah. The winner of Hot Ryu is... Grim Road.
reminder. Da -da -da -da. Dude, there's even a write private message on Twitch. Interesting. Oh, okay. rad. Yeah. Oh, they're seeing all. They're seeing my notes page here. Ooh. Awesome. Ooh, secrets. Secrets. Ah. Oh. All right. Hey, there he is. Hey, he's so hey. confused. Okay. Just joined. Hey, you know what? That's cool of me. More power to you. More that's power that's to the you. power of the dice. Exactly. Sometimes the dice gives the best rolls to people who have been rolling for 50 years. Sometimes yeah. it's beginner's luck. All right, so I'll send that out to you after the show's done. But let's just do a, another drawing right now to see who the second winner of Hot Ryu is. The second winner is... Arv47. Or, or maybe Arvat. Could be, could be, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's up. <laughs> Arvat, let us know if you want your hot re. Hey. Oh, there he is. There he is. I see him. Okay, good stuff. If he wants his hot Ryu, I will. You you are the winner of hot Ryu R forty seven. Hot. <laughs> I'm not a touch typer. Dude. I know, I know, I know. That's funny. All right, you know, I'm not even gonna bother resetting it. Let's just let's just. Okay, what's the last yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. What's okay. the last one? Well, I got three digital Prima guides to give out. Oh, that's right. So, uh, digital Prima guides to give out. So let's let's. Take a look scroll here. up there a little bit. Uh, scroll up. Yeah, just so that the stream can see like what you're doing there or whatever. Oh, this one here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, okay. Um, or however it works. Yeah, yeah okay. Sorry. Okay, so uh, I haven't reset anything. I'm just gonna leave it here like this. Oh no, my rhythm's breaking. It's getting hard. <laughs> it's getting hard to do. Tell me when you want me to draw. And draw. L J Cool J. L J Cool J. You get a digital Prima guy. Let us know if that is something that you wish to claim unless you have it already I'm just gonna just draw three in a row real fast hey. so, oh there he is okay let me know if you want it and it's yours hey okay so what does he say here yes please okay all right let's do the next drawing then Boop. ready one, two, three, bam! Next winner is the bonus round! Well, there you go. Oh, you saw him? No. Oh, the bonus round, please. Tweet at us if you want it. I'm going to hear so I you can... mean Twitch at us. Twitch at us, yeah, sorry. Um, oh, yeah. Yes, okay, so you get a free digital guide. Also, if you see his name in the chat, Shoegazer Jimmy, shout-outs for him providing us with a lot of these stuff. So thank you very much for your support. Next person... Oops. To win the Prima Guide... Is solution nine? Hey. Mighty number nine. Uh, All right, so <clears throat> solution nine is the winner. If you want it, let us know. Let us know. That's the fail one. Yeah, I know. It's great. It's a 
classic it's the sound best. Clip. It's the best, yeah, yeah. seriously. Alright, I haven't seen it yet. Solution Ah, oh, there he is! There it is! Congratulations! Solution. Yay! Alright, alright. Do you want to do one last jerk one? What, just to... As we've done before. Just to... Oh, that's right, huh? Didn't we Who get... didn't win? So you just want to pick another name just to be a jerk, Yeah. You want Who to... got... Like, what is this, like, eighth place? Like, How many things do we give away? Like, boned, because, uh... Like, right at the very end here? Yes. So you just want to draw a name just to be mean? That's right. Okay. That's right. Do you want to reset the bracket for that? Or... No, because I want to <laughs> pick whoever... All these people who have entered already. Okay, that makes sense I mean, sense look, they me. want it. They want, they want it, so... Okay, okay, okay. Who gets... Last place. <laughs> the You Got Squat Award. That's right. The winner right. of this is... Oh, wait, no, it should be, it should have been on thing. All right, all right, just, just, let's, let's redo it. Oh, oh, oh you're, right, you're, right, you're, right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Okay, okay, okay. Um, well, what should I do with this here? Yeah, well, I picked... Well, DD Cool J, you didn't win the Didn't Win Award. <laughs> Wow, you're, he got even more screwed yeah, than you're, everyone. You're, you're, you're even worse. <laughs> you didn't even win the didn't win award. Okay, All right, okay, now, because okay. we want to pick it live on stream, so... That's right, that's right, that's right. Okay, Here we okay, go, okay, all right. Let's, right give it a, let's give it one of these. Super important. Hey! Our Coco! Our Coco, you are now the official winner of the nothing prize. Congrats. You didn't win anything. There you go. Congratulations to our Coco. Let us know if you want it. <laughs> Let us know if you want nothing. Oh, that's awesome. I think if we just had a stream where all we did was just draw names like that, people would like actually be entertained. It's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right. Well, that's it for things that we're giving away, including things that we're not giving away. That's right. So congratulations, our Coco. For nothing, and especially congratulations to uh, DJ something DD Joe, DD Cool J or something, Joe, cool Joe or something. Or yeah, for we don't even remember. Smiley. Yeah, exactly. That's how irrelevant that prize is. Yikes! Irrelevant. What a meanie over here. Exactly. I'm a jerk. I'm a jerk. Thanks for following the show. All right, guys. Uh, tune in later this week. Like I said, on Thursday, I'll be doing a first attack. Uh, where I will be exploring Alex for the first time, figuring out what to do with all of his buttons, and I will be jumping in blind to play online. Most of the other times before I play a character online on stream, I use my Smurf account to figure out how to play that character. Oh. Not going to do it this time. Just going to go right in there, dive right in there, and get destroyed as Alex, but it'll be a learning process. That's, you know, that's important to see. It's important to let people know how that process goes. Exactly. Try exactly. to demystify <laughs> There's DD there. Cool Joe. Yeah, I know. <laughs> awesome. Good stuff. Uh, okay. Uh, so tune in then, and uh, we will talk to you then. So peace out, everybody.